that's running straight over a rocky ledge or a tree like that. Shiny boy, I can't tell you the name, I can't find. So the weekend calls and my work is done. Hey everybody, <clears throat> just got a big order here from uh, Fish USA, a bunch of trolling stuff for uh, trout and salmon and I figured I'd uh, share with you the unboxing of it. trip playing this August up Lake Ontario so what better reason to stock up than a fishing trip. Ooh. Here. Got a couple of new reels for our new dipsy rods. <clears throat> Been using these uh, Okuma cold water started last year and I really like them. Uh, they're a nice high speed reel too, so you're not cranking for hours waiting for, uh, you know, to get your lines back in to check them. Nice. We'll uh, show you how, to, how I like to spool those up too in a little bit. same thing. Um, we got these slide divers too, these light bites we're going to give a shot. Um, basically same thing as a dipsy except you can adjust your leader length. Uh, you run it right through it and uh, yeah so you can get like a good 30-50 foot lead out there and then when it trips just goes straight on your line slides down to a swivel. Makes boating, netting the fish a lot easier in a small boat. Flashers. Uh, these new planer boards too, these ninja boards, um, look really cool. They're literal one hand operation. Got a little button on it that operates the back and the front at the same time. So put one of these together and play with it. couple of meat rigs, um, go behind the dodger with some herring strips in them, ring kit for the dipsies, make them go deeper, some trolling flies, And what order isn't complete with a giant pile of spoons. Uh, dirty white boy. What's this one? Black ice. Blue bubble. Wonder bread. We've been doing really good on Wonder Bread lately, so grab a few more of those. Uh, and these are all Dream Weaver uh, standard size spoons. Chili Willy. These are the Okuma White Diamond 
10 foot dipsy diver rods. Really excited for these. Get them a little farther out away from the boat than what we're currently running. We have eight footers. I like the white tip. It's gonna be really easy to see any kind of action going on with it. They're nice and light too, actually. some line to put on. All right, we got some uh, 20 pound test mono here for our backer and most of the fill in the spool and then we're going to put 150 yards of braid on the top to run with the, when we're running our divers. Uh, a lot of people like to run wire. I'm not a big fan of wire. It's uh, too much risk for kinks and uh, just it's not user friendly. So take this in part. Spool here. I like to just tie a uni knot to keep it on the spool because you can tie it out here, tighten it down, and slide it right down tight. It's just Not holds good. Hopefully we don't ever get taken down that far, but you never know. Start cranking. yards of 40 pound power pro super slick air Spider. That's tight. Oh. 
dry. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I'm trying to loop the braid around the box here so we need a little tension on it. We'll see how this goes. And it's not working. We're not getting it on super tight, so we'll have to let it out once we're on the water with something on it, and then you crank it on tight. You don't want your braid too loose on the spool, because then you'll end up you know, digging into itself, actually, once you have a fish on, take a drag. And that's just not something you want going on. I always like to get a colored, nice bright braid where I'm floating on any rod. Because there are some, when you get tangled up, it's a pain. And it's just nice to have something you can see good. There we go. 150 yards of braid. Nice smooth drag. Seagar fluorocarbon 25 pound uh, premier. We're gonna put this on as our uh, our leader. For this, we're tying an Alberto knot. And take your leader, loop it, crank the burden, come through your loop. Again. Through the loop, pinch it. You're going to wrap it around going down seven times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're going to take it down here, pinch it off down here, come up seven times. So one, two, four, five, six, seven. And it's important to go out the loop the same way as the other ones going through. So this one came from the bottom up, we're going to go from the top down. So that they're both on the same side there. And then let that alone, straighten out your loops, pull them until they come tight. I like to just keep working it down as you pull it tight. And then once you get it tight, give it a little pull, you'll see your knot actually gets darker. That's how you know it's tightened up right. Let's trim these. You can get nice and close with this knot. Because the tighter you pull on it, the stronger it'll actually get. Give it a little tug to make sure. And we'll get our leader started on the spool. Zero our reel. And we have two rods, 25 yards, so. I think we're going to go with about 40 feet on each. And we'll go 50, I don't know. 50 sounds like a good number. There we go. And trim. Let's put it together. I love the drag on these.
Let's see, what are we gonna do? Swivels. Well, Let's see how these slide divers go on. screwdriver here. All you gotta do apparently is get this little loosen it up. Get that loose and not be an idiot and rip all of it off so you can't grab nothing. I'll take it all the way off. Start it like I do. I'm going straight. There we go. So the way these go on. start come through the front trip like so then thread it through the front eyelet there and I don't know where that goes yet. I think they go on the arm itself, actually. Rather than on the line. And I threw the line. Um. Wow, it's so descriptive. There's like no way to get that. On there? Try this again. I feel like should go up there. We're gonna try it on the line because that's where I'm thinking it's gonna go. So through the front hole. Through this hole. And then struggle with this because I have fat fingers. Pull it up to the side. A surgical tubing that'll protect your line from getting uh, chafed on the trip arm. There we go. 
fits perfectly. So that is where it's going to go. And then back to the rear guide. And through your rear trip arm. Then we're going to make our uh, tire swivel on it. So we're going to put a spoon on this one. So. I used the uni knot for just about all my knots. And I like to go around six times. Trim this off. We're going to go with about six feet from our lure to where the diver is going to end up um, after it's tripped. The pinch there. Then on the line, we're going to slide a bead to protect our knot from the diver sliding down and smashing into it. And then a little barrel swivel to stop it from... That's, that's where it'll stop. And again, I'm going to use the new uni knot with this one. Swiveling back on. That's why I use fluorocarbon. I can't even see it. And that you not five or six wraps, it's just about the same for either. Same strength wise. Take that on. That trim. There we go. So, the way this works, for the demonstration's sake, we'll, we'll do it, you know, a couple feet in front of the swivel. But, you set your diver the light trip part up and pull that front arm into the clip. Let's tighten it a little bit. There we go. So you have Have this part going to the rod. Your line to your lure is coming through here. This is to your rod. So, if when you go to clear it, you give it a yank, it slides right down, and then you have your six feet to your lure. Same with a fish. You have this set out there, and you're trolling along, and a fish hits it. Boom! Trips slides down so when you're fighting that fish at the back of the boat you only got six feet from your diver to the fish whereas if you had a traditional dipsy you know you want to run a 20 foot lead you need 20 feet 
a leader off the back of your dipsy, then you got to hand line that fish in at the end. And that's just, it, it takes some of the fun away from it. So, that is the advantage of the slide diver. We, let's see, what are we going to put in here? Let's go with, all right, this one. We got green outlet. For a stock hook, these Dreamweaver spoons, I really like them. They're uh, really sharp and really pretty strong. Put that on there. And there we go. Ready to run.